How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and before we get to the video Please leave a like subscribe on the channel and follow me on twitch Henrik. We're live there every single day. I would appreciate it a lot uh, We're just trying to you know keep growing every day on this channel and it means the world But now I'm gonna talk about the video today and that's the brand new team update a lot of changes in my last team build update So I want to make sure that you guys kind of understand you know where I'm at where my head's at when it comes to my team And I'm gonna talk about exactly who you should look at picking up because I, I like a lot of these players and keep in mind some of these stats might be a little bit not too exciting but the reason why is because it's to me I've been having a hard time scoring so uh, we'll uh, we'll get into that but starting off with the first line we got base Nathan McKinnon right here 87 overall edition six foot 200 pounds right here 91 excel 91 speed 86 88 89 89 for his for sorry 88 for his shot uh, I truly truly enjoy Nathan McKinnon's card a lot he's always a fun card to use so uh, Nathan McKinnon right here, uh, you can see he has uh, uh, seven goals for me in 38 games played, which again, seems very underwhelming, but his assist 24 is not underwhelming. That's where he really excels is in the assist category. He's feeding guys like Matthews for me uh, and, and others, definitely, because McKinnon is more of a dish master for me, at least. His passing is really, really nice at 89 rated, so I've really enjoyed using him so far. Nathan McKinnon uh, is awesome. I would recommend his base card. Uh, also, 90 overall, Austin Matthews. I don't have him up to 91 right now. The reason why is because it's a plus one for everything else besides the skating, so it's really not that important to me, like his excel and his speed. I'd rather, you know, upgrade him when I really, like, I don't really have the collectibles right now, and I'm not going to trade in gold players to make the power collectibles to make him not even really that much faster, you know, so it's not really going to make a difference at all. So that's why uh, I'm leaving him kind of where he is right now. So 91 overall. Austin Matthews, all right? So uh, I don't have him right now, but right now, 90 overall, Matthews is going to definitely do the job. So we're happy with that. He's got the puck and a string superstar ability and the shock and awe. Guys, shock and awe is absolutely so, so good. And you need, and I mean you need to have it activated if you have X-Factor Matthews. It's a cheat code. It's a glitch. It literally goes in every time, basically. The shot's so hard, even if it doesn't go in, it's a massive rebound and absolutely ridiculous cannon every time he shoots the puck. It's like real life. And Matthews' shot is literally like a cannon in real life. So uh, I recommend getting Matthews X-Factor if you, if you can. I mean, you have to. He's just, he's too good. He's too good. Then I got base McDavid. I mean, I pulled him numerous times now. You'll see those pack openings pretty soon, guys. But 89 overall, 6'1", 193 pounds, 94 excel, 94 speed, 91, 87, 93, and 87 for his shot. Connor McDavid's base card lives up to his overall at 89 overall. It's one of the higher base cards we've had in the game since I believe, like, NHL 17 or 18. 89 overall is very, very high for a base card. And Connor McDavid absolutely deserves it, no question about it. So, Connor McDavid is unbelievable. So, uh, I've, I've liked him so far. 17 goals, 14 assists. I mean, his numbers do back it up for me. He's been very, very good. Uh, I've enjoyed his card just astronomically. So, base McDavid right there. I would love his X-Factor card, but that's a very hard, hard to get. It's expensive, and it's rare, so that's what we got to deal with for now. Second line, Jack Eichel. I believe he's on my last team build as well. He is 6'2", 213. Uh, he's got the wheels one that I don't have active, sadly, because I don't have enough ability points. But his Excel is at E9, E9 speed right there as well. E7, E7, E9, E6 for his shot. So Eichel still is a tremendous card regardless. 30 games played, 21 goals though, and 11 assists. I enjoy Eichel's card a lot. People will say really negative things about him, but I have not experienced that at all. Jack Eichel's card has been really, really, really good for me. So I don't know. I don't see it. He's definitely a better winger than he is a center. You definitely shouldn't play him at center, but Eichel is definitely a very, very good winger. Then I have him... With Nick Suzuki, MSP, which I have to say right now, guys, make him. Make him if you can, please. He is really, really good. I have the quick draw ability on him right now, which is advanced quickness on face-off draws and increased effectiveness on tie-up wins. Great defensive zone draw. So if you tie, another person ties, and he doesn't have quick draw, Suzuki will win that more times than, well, every time. What am I saying? Every time. Uh, 91 Excel, 90 speed. This is a card that I believe you could have on your fourth line even. If you have a stack team, in December. It's a very, very well-rounded card. E7, E7, ED, and E7 shot. I love a Suzuki card a lot. I know his face-offs are 75, but again, ratings for the face-offs are not that important. It's kind of whatever. I mean, it'd be nice to have a high one, but it's only for, like, if you guys do the same exact thing, so not that big of a deal at all. So with him is Patrick Kane X-Factor, which I chose for my pre-order card, and he has the Flat the Zone Synergy active as well. 
93 Excel at 91 speed. 93 Excel is actually kind of scary at 86 overall right now. So Patrick Kane, uh, 91 A6, 93 and A6 for his shot. Uh, it's, it feels good. I know his stats don't look too amazing for me, but I enjoy his card. I really do. He's been really fun to use so far. And his own ability that I have active is puck and a string, which basically makes him really, really fun to use when it comes to like stick handling. You can just go back and forth and it's quicker than an average player, which is really, really uh, important, especially at this point in the year, because not everybody can poke at a quick you know, pace. Maybe maybe I'm wrong on that one, though, because I, I feel like poke checking can be a little bit OP sometimes. But uh, Patrick Kane in general has been really, really fun to use. And I really think that you guys should find a way to uh, get this card. Uh, I know his stats a little bit underwhelming, but he's not underwhelming, I promise. Now the third line, we got Mark Shifley, who is 6'3", 207 pounds, 87 Excel, 87 Speed, 86, 87 ED, and 86 for his shot. He's got six goals, 15 assists, and 38 games played. I've liked him a lot. He's got a really good build, 6'3", 207. Anything, any forward that's like 6'3", or above and has like 87 plus speed, that's going to be really, really good and useful, especially at this point in the year, because not many players have that kind of speed and Excel, so... I love, Sh I love Shifley. I think he's a really, really awesome card. So recommend him. Pick him up if you haven't already. His center is Leon Dreisler, which I pulled him a couple times now as well. He's been really, really, really good. 85 Excel, 85 Speed. I kind of regret not selecting him as my X-Factor pre-order card. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but 12 goals, 15 and 6 assists, 38 games played. His hands are really good. There's not many negative things about this card. Yeah, maybe his speed and his Excel, but... You kind of sacrifice that when he's a big, strong centerman who's 6'2", 208. Very hard to knock off the puck, and I found a great success with him. So, yeah, I mean, I really like Leon Dreisaitl. I think you guys definitely got to get on it and uh, and get him if you can, if you haven't already. His X-Factor, if you haven't, make sure you keep upgrading him because he is 100% worth it. Then on his wing is Miko Ranton, another car that I love. One of my favorite wingers I've used so far this year. 6'4", 215. I love my big boy wingers. He's been really fun to use. 85 Excel, 85 Speed. 87, 87, 88, and 86 for a shot. Rantanen is electric out there. 13 goals, 9 assists for me in 35 games played. Again, you could say that's kind of mid. It's not really too exciting or too, you know, wow, shocking me. But no, he, he's been really, really good. I, I think he's 100% uh, worth uh, talking about and hyping up. He's unbelievable. He's got his uh, pocket string ability as well. So his toe drag and sickle length speed is higher as well. So definitely nice to have that on a bigger man as well. So Rantanen is really good. Now for the fourth line, I still got Base Hagen. He's the OG on the team. Still rocking on my team since day one. 6'1", 200 pounds, 88 Excel, 88 Speed, 85, 87, 86, and 87 for his shot. Tyler Sagan is really, really good. He's a very good budget card as well. Uh, it doesn't cost you a lot to have. So Tyler Sagan is 100% worth it. 30 games played at six goals, four assists as well. So yeah, I mean, Tyler Sagan... Is a, is a must, especially for a budget. Fourth line guy is really, really good for as well. I definitely can't complain about having him on my fourth line. I mean, if I did, that'd be kind of weird. Then I have Ray Ferraro, Icon Edition as well. He's been really, really strong back there and solid. 88 Excel, 89 Speed. I like him. I like him. He's been really, really solid back there with the 86 faceoffs as well. Really perfect fourth line center. And a guy that I could definitely see myself continuing to upgrade as tiers unlock each month for him. Really not many bad stats. His body is pretty low, but that's okay. 5'10", 182. I have him on the penalty kill as well. So definitely can play him on a lot of different areas. Not a power play guy. Not At least not right now, but definitely a good penalty killer for me. So I can't complain. Uh, then on his wing is going to be Kyle Connor. 6'1", 182. I don't have his zone ability, which is wheels act because it costs a lot of AP. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, 87 Excel and 89 speed, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. So, I mean... For a fourth line guy, that's someone that's like really that fast is very, very nice. And it's going to be very efficient and very hard for people to, you know, handle having him out there. You know, when you're like, wow, his fourth line's out, but he still has Kyle Connor, who's very fast and I have to pay attention to him. So something to keep in mind. But I like my forwards a lot overall. It's very, very, very fun forwards. Definitely my favorites are Matthew, Suzuki, and, and probably Ranton, I'd say. But there's definitely honorable mentions. Then my defense, Kale McCarr, X-Factor Edition. You got to get this card. Even base McCarr is really, really worth it at this point. 91 Excel, 91 Speed right now. I won't. I don't think I'm going to upgrade him to 86 overall uh, because, I mean, I don't really think I need to due to the fact that his Excel and his Speed is going to be very, very high as it is. 83, 85, 82, and 84 for his shot. Uh, six goals, 15 assists, and 38 games played. Kael McCarr, plus a card is just flawless. It's amazing. So, yeah, I definitely got to make sure that uh, Kael McCarr 
He's on your team. He's just so good. He's built different. I really, truly believe that this card is a must on any person's team. So get him, get him, get him. And alongside him is a perfect guy. You want a big guy with a small guy. 6'6", 223. It's MSP, Victor Hedman, 85 Excel, 86 speed, 80, 90, 80, and 90 for his shot. Three goals, six assists, and nine points for 31 games played. So really, really, really good stuff. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Victor Hedman's card. He's got the... Uh, quick pick, ability point active as well, which is advanced at intercepting pucks. Increases a player's range while intercepting pucks, which is very important because people still love to try to force the puck uh, through every person. So definitely very useful. Second pair, we got base Ducky Hamilton. I wish I had X-Factor Hamilton, but not lucky enough to have him. I could have chosen him, chosen him in my uh, pre-order pack, but I didn't. So it is what it is. 86 Excel, 85 speed, 82, 86, 82, and 85 for his shooting. Two goals, nine assists for... A total of 11 points in 38 games played. Hamilton's a very big, strong defenseman at 6'6", 229. As a Devils fan, I got to have him. Plus, he's actually good. So, And I pair with another fast and small defender, Quinn Hughes, 5'10", 170, 90 Excel, 90 speed, 82, 84, 82, and 84 for his shot. Quinn Hughes is a very underrated card that maybe people aren't appreciating enough right now. I like him a lot. Zero goals, nine assists in 31 games played. I like him a lot. Then with the third pair, we got John Carlson, Team of the Week. And I think this pair has honestly been my best pair probably on my whole team. So he's got 85 Excel, 86 speed, and 38 games played, 2 goals uh, and 10 assists, a plus 11 rating, which if you've been noticing, a lot of my guys actually are, have like an even or a plus 1 or like a minus 1 because a lot of my games are like one goal games. And I, If I win, if I won, if I lose by 1 basically. So uh, it's been kind of like back and forth and low scoring games as well. So I'm not like blowing people out because I'm in D2, very sweaty games against other D1 players. So... Just something to keep in mind. It's been hard for me to kind of like get a consistent, I guess, uh, streak going. And for the final defenseman, it's base Roman Yossi. He's 84 Excel, 85 speed, 4 goals, 8 assists, and he's a plus 8 rating as well in 38 games played. I like base Roman Yossi. He's been actually really good for me. I've had him since literally day one as well. It, it, has, it says uh, issued October 12th. Uh, well, it's not really day one, but I, I believe I had his uh, tradable version. That's why it's not uh, since October 7th, so... That's the reason. Uh, that's the defense right there. I love Makar and love Hedman. That's my favorite pair. Uh, but this last pair has also been really, really underrated for me. My goaltending looks like this. Robin Leonard. I'm going to look at his record and be like, wow, you suck, Enrique. Not really. I mean, it's been hard when you're playing against very, very high in competition. It's hard to beat people over and over again. 24 and 14, but he's unbelievable, guys. I love Robin Leonard. He's my favorite goalie in the game right now. I think he's the best currently. And the backup I have is a sin plug of Louis Domingue. The coach is... Justin Davis, which fly the zone. I always have one synergy. It's a fly the zone synergy. But guys, before I wrap up this video, here's a few gameplay clips I have as well. I wanted to show you some gameplay. I want to get some more gameplay implemented, but here it is, guys. Whatever. I scored. I don't... <laughs> the buzzer all right guys so there you go there's some gameplay clips i have some of my ability limits i'm gonna show you that are active i have the shotgun on for matthews and puck on a string kane has puck on a string i have heat seeker on makar puck on a string for rantanen quick draw for suzuki quick pick on headman whirlwind on uh, leonard and that's it so that's it for this video hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel here follow me on twitch henrik instagram twitter tiktok henrik with threes and join the Discord to talk to me. Follow and subscribers to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. This is the second take, guys. I'm, I've recorded the first video and I was muted. So I'm dying. Thanks for watching, guys.